Are you a small business owner that uh, would love to take full advantage of YouTube in order to get more clients? If so, do not click away. For the next few minutes, we're going to be talking with Nate Woodbury on how you actually can do what I just said. In other words, the answer to the question that I just posed. It'll all make sense. Bear with me. Uh, here with Nate Woodbury talking about, uh, you know, making money on YouTube and, and basically quitting your job and all the things that you ever wanted in life just so that you can make videos and put them out there in the ionosphere. What's it called? The, the webosphere? The, the, the internet mm -hmm. is what we call it. We call it the internet these days. Uh, Nate, uh, we were talking last time about, um, you know, how you don't have to have a massive following to actually make money with YouTube videos. Uh, this, our topic today, the question that I have for you actually comes from a Dr. Sten Egberg. He asks, how do you get more business? And he's a doctor, mind you. And I'm guessing a medical doctor of some kind, but whatever. He talks he's a about doctor. having patience. So. He does talk about having patience. And Nate is looking ahead. How do you get more business from YouTube? I am a doctor and would like to have more patience that I can help one-on-one. -on -one. Go. All right, so as a doctor, you have You just have said expertise. you weren't a doctor. Oh, him. Him. Got it. Right, okay. I, I majored in human biology. <laughs> oh, so you know. But that's as far as Medulla that's as far oblongata as I got. and all that. Now, I, now I'm a YouTube doctor. Now he's doctor. a YouTube doctor. <laughs> okay, sorry. So one-on-one, -on -one, how do I, I want, he wants to actually help people, apparently in a distant type setting. Well, what, what uh, people in this case, like a doctor or any type of expert, what you don't realize is what a great opportunity you have on YouTube because there's there's all the hype of oh I need millions of subscribers and if I'm just making a doctor about you know health topics as a doctor or about my expertise as an attorney or an accountant or just they don't realize that you don't need millions of subscribers to make uh, to make that a real uh, profitable source of well it's a real lead generation machine it's kinda of like we talked about before where a doctor or a lawyer might go Gosh, my topic is so relevant to so many people. I could probably get two million views about me talking about how to write a, a, a settlement or a contract or whatever, mm -hmm. which may be true, but if you only are worried about the AdSense revenue, that's just going to be pennies on yeah, the dollar. Yeah, it's, it's really. just going to be you know pennies or fractions of a penny compared to you've got a business already. You've already got a way that you're monetizing your business, and so you use YouTube to generate leads. Forget the AdSense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and just build an Just expertise. find clients. Just mm -hmm. yeah, grabbing one or two extra people that you would be able to get, to be able to sell more services to would be far and away more profitable than just putting out their right. video. So, for, yeah. so as, a, as a doctor wants to have more patients, make videos that help out those patients and then give them a way to, to find you. I mean, basically, you've got a website probably already, so you just link to your, your website when they want to go to schedule an appointment or if they if you do anything virtually or anything like that or if you do a telephone consult or if they need to fly in i mean one of my one of my clients is a doctor and people fly in from all over all over the country currently to come see him and like they've they, discovered him off of his um, so I mean, this, obviously, these we're are just other getting, patients. But right. I mean, yeah, so, I mean, he's got people that come in, they've got bone-on-bone -bone knees, and they don't want to have their knee replaced, so they'll come to him, he'll do this injection, vitamin, prolazone, something, therapy that, that works, and people, he's got a reputation, so people fly in. So the, the strategy we're launching for him is we're creating a whole series of, of videos that teach and educate people on, on health, how to keep your knees healthy and how to deal with arthritis naturally and how to you know sleep better and headaches. And so he's just he's creating lots of value. People are then finding these these videos because they're here's the thing. If somebody I goes, was gonna ask, what's the thing? What's the thing? I mean I was literally <laughs> on the tip of my tongue. If if somebody goes to YouTube and they type in Maybe it's me, and I've got a, a bad knee, and I my all the the medical doctors around me are saying you need to have a knee replacement. That's your only option. And I go to YouTube and I say alternatives to knee replacement, which which may be a really good search term. Yeah, right? I mean that the, the the doctor would want to know. Yeah, what's an alternative to a knee replacement? Right. Imagine then finding a video 
of a doctor saying, hey, are you looking for an alternative to a knee replacement surgery? Have you just left your doctor and he said you need knee replacement and there's nothing else you can do about it? Yeah. And then here are your options and you, you teach them what the options are and then they're thinking, wow, not, not only is, okay, that video, it might not get a million views. It might not get 100,000 views, but it gets viewed by the people who are looking for you. Right, so it, it really is, it's kind of a, it's a, a new approach to qualifying leads in a way, right? I mean, you're, mm -hmm. if, if you're putting out there the right search terms, and I know this will be another topic for another day, but like you say, rather than casting a net to just try to get five million people to watch my video, aren't I great? Here, mm -hmm. I just need a cute kitten for that. <laughs> That's all you need, really? Yeah, yeah cute kitten and, uh, and, and uh, something threatening its life. Uh, I mean, not really, but like a dump truck coming really fast at it. And it's like, oh, no, the kitty's going to. But then the kitty gets saved and, and there's five million so views. So that wouldn't get you that wouldn't get you the client. It wouldn't would get you get the client. That's where I was going with that. But where you take something that is uh, not even relatively relevant, but like f pretty broadly relevant to uh, a lot of people that have bad knees, uh, people of a certain age are being diagnosed with you need knee replacement all the time. And there's enough of them out there that you might still get a million views on that video, mm -hmm. which would pocket you a little bit of money. But more than anything is you're broadening the possibility, statistically speaking, of you coming away, Doc, with five or six or 10 or 12 actual patients who will then be paying for your alternative to knee replacement surgery services. Right. And then add to this, you've got, you create one video that's now a machine because that video isn't just it's going to get some views and then die and off. Now away. it's it's out there and it shows up in search. And so it's continually working for you. Then you create another one about, about wrists. You create another one about sleep. You're just creating hundreds of these videos that are now hundreds of machines pulling in people every day. So soon you get yeah. to a point where, oh, my channel, uh, over overall, my channel is bringing in 20,000 new views every single day. Well, that's not, that doesn't suck. I don't it know doesn't. If, I don't know if you can say that on the internet. Pretty sure the FCC doesn't have any regulations. Uh, that's the beauty of that. But you know, it doesn't. It doesn't suck at all. So when you when you make a, a video um, about helping someone, and in this case specifically one on one stuff, you run the risk, I would think, of of giving away too much information. Um, wh information that you ultimately would want to charge for, right? I mean, where what's sort of the threshold of of how much you should just give people for free online. Yeah, that, that's a very common question. Um, and it's a, a concern, it's a valid point that everyone brings up that I, that I talk to. And what I found is that you don't have to worry about it. You, the more you give away... <laughs> well, there you, you have it. Have we'll see it. you next week on the Nate Woodbury Show. The reality is, you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> just chill. That's what we always say. If the more value you give, the more trust it's built, but there's going to be some people that get the information and they do it themselves and that's great. That means that you're making your videos valuable enough that if people want to, they can implement it without you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's always people that will hire you because they want you to do it for them. In the case of something medical, obviously they can't do it that's, themselves. Yeah. But in the case of, of the services that I offer, I teach people how to, how to use a camera, for example, or how to, how to film on a green screen. And I teach them exactly how to do it. Here's how you set up the lights. Here's where you get the paper. Here's the type of camera you use. And I show them how to do it. And a lot of people will take that and they'll run with it. And they'll, they'll set up their own green screen studio. But there's other people that say, ah, Nate knows what he's doing. He knows how to use green screen. I don't want to do that, but I want to hire him to do it for me. So that's, I see. that's my recommendation. So, so that people are basically saying, really all I, want, all I want to do is focus my mental and creative powers on the topic, on the delivery, on the execution. And I, even though Nate has just shown me how to uh, put all the stuff together, how to upload it, how to optimize it, how to do search terms, all the things that you provide as services, uh, I would rather have him do it for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that does make sense because there's, it's such a broad audience anyway that you're, you really do have a really high likelihood that you're going to find way more people who will pay for your services than if you didn't do it at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, would, you, would you rather have business or would you rather not have business? You know, or would you rather not give away your secrets? I mean, I, I think it's a, a, a pretty good trade-off, at least it seems to me. Yeah, the, the cool thing is, is 
with YouTube, if you do get the hundreds of thousands of views or millions of views on a specific video, think about how many people you're helping and, and sharing. I mean, that's that's what I consider being a hero, is really utilizing your expertise to influence the world. And see, that's a whole other way. level, too. And I think yeah. a lot of people also operate on that premise that even if I personally don't hit my financial goals or don't become a gajillionaire off, off of YouTube, I, I'll, I'll make enough money that I'm able to sustain it or, or sustain it. But also, the peripheral, you know, the collateral benefits as opposed to collateral damage is other people have benefited. I'll, I'll share with you an example. Okay. Um, my friend Paul, he's a psychologist. He made a video about parenting. He got a message from a mom in India thanking him. Um, and I don't remember the exact message, but it's something like, I've been, I've been needing something like this. My, my son or such and such, we've been having these issues. Your video helped me so much. Thanks a lot. You know, it's somebody on the other side of the, the planet that he was able to help because he made a YouTube video. And this person on the other side of the planet, probably that we know of, didn't spend any money with Paul. Yeah, nothing. Didn't send him any. He got no financial from that particular person. Right. But to know that he helped someone out is, is a reward in and of itself. Mm -hmm. And other people certainly will pay for his services. Right. Yeah. No, it's, 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 it's. It's the nice cost. It's the, there's a cost of doing business no matter what you do. And in this case, that's a cost that anyone can live with because it's not a hard cost unless you can extrapolate it and draw it back to how much money it's taking out of your wallet, but it's probably not taking any out. The other side is that it's putting more in. Mm -hmm. Well, if you liked what you saw, make sure that you take a minute and uh, like it. I mean, literally like it, like, like with the little thumb icon there. And if you haven't subscribed already, if you've watched this far. I mean, I don't, I don't get that. Why would, why would there not be a subscription action going on? <laughs> I mean, no offense, but really? So subscribe and share, share like crazy, because you know that you know a lot of people who could benefit from these videos. <laughs> who wouldn't, who couldn't, who wouldn't? We'll see you next time. What he said. <laughs> <laughs>